There is a project called ES Build, which is a bundler similar to Webpack or Rollup, and it's making a lot of noise in the front-end space because of its extremely high performance. This is great for large projects or large teams. It supports TypeScript out of the box, which is why I'm interested in it, and in this lesson, we will be using it to build a simple TypeScript plus React application. So let's go. We are going to start off in an empty directory and initialize a new package.json. The only thing we need to install for ESBuild is ESBuild. Now, since we are building a React TypeScript application, we are going to install React along with React DOM and the type definitions for these two packages. Finally, we will install the TypeScript compiler. Now, once this installation complete, we are going to use the installed TypeScript compiler to initialize a new tsconfig.json, specifying that all our source files will be under the source folder and we will be using React flavor for our JSX. With the project set up out of the way, let's open this up in our IDE. We will create our application entry point under source app.tsx. We will bring in the usual suspects, which are React, use callback, use state, as well as React DOM. Now our application will consist of a simple app component that takes a message as a prop, has an internal state for a counter which it initializes to zero, a method to increment that count by one, and a simple UI that shows the message, shows the current count, and has a button to increment the count. We rendered out this app component with a simple message hello esbuild plus react plus TypeScript onto the root element within our HTML. Now, of course, the next step is to write that HTML and we will create an HTML file called index.html under the public folder. This file will contain a simple div with an ID root, which we will render the React component to, and a script to load the bundled JavaScript. Now that's it for our application. The next step is to use ESBuild to bundle our app.tsx plus React into a single bundle.js. Now, in order to make it easier for us to run the build again and again, we will add a script in our package.json called build, which will invoke ESBuild passing in the entry point, which is source app.tsx, along with a few flags, which is bundle, minify, and source map, and an output target as outfile set to public slash bundle.js. This is the bundle.js that we referenced from our public index.html. And that's it for configuring ESBuild. Now let's go ahead and run our first build by opening up the terminal and running npm run build. Now, I don't know about you, but the first time I ran this, and I saw it complete so fast, I was completely blown away. I'm a big fan of bootstrap projects. For example, the TypeScript compiler being written in TypeScript. However, ESBuild is something that targets the JavaScript ecosystem, but it is written in Go. However, this level of performance improvement makes it worthwhile for me. Now this command has generated bundle.js as well as bundle.js.map in our public folder next to our index.html. So now if you open up our index.html, it's going to load this bundle and our application should just work. And indeed it works as expected and we can click the increment button to increment the count that is currently being displayed. Now, one great thing about ESBuild is that it also supports source maps out of the box. So if you open up our dev tools, we can see that we have source app.tsx present. And if you open that up, we can set up a breakpoint right before we increment the count. Now, if you click the increment button, our breakpoint is hit and we can debug our TypeScript source code. Now, of course, this is a very simple application. You are free to write whatever code you want and test it with ESBuild. And I'd love to hear your experience in the comments below. Now, as you might have noticed, ESBuild is much more low level when compared to something like Webpack. If you want the same level of developer ergonomics as Webpack, for example, Webpack Dev Server, you have to combine ESBuild with something like White, which is from the Vue team, or Snowpack. Those tools actually use ESBuild under the hood. That said, it is still a great starting point for you to test how fast you could possibly build your application. Now, if you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one.